So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So, we have a question there on the on the body. Uh, the question reads: An eight to one kg baseball player slides into second base. This coefficient of kinetic friction, which is mu k, is given as zero point four nine, and it's acting between the player and the ground. What is the magnitude of the frictional force? That's part A. And then part B, if the player comes to rest after 1.6 seconds, what is his initial velocity? Okay, so let's get to it. So here we are asked to calculate the frictional force as well as uh, the, what is it, the initial velocity. So let's try to make a free board diagram and then get to see all the things that are happening with our player. So suppose this is our player and remember the question is saying he is sliding. So let's say he is sliding to this side. Okay? Let's say he is sliding to this side. That's where uh, he is putting his force to. Okay? So that's where he is putting his force to. That side. So we expect the frictional force to act on the opposite uh, direction so this will be our frictional force and then since he is a human so he is bound to have weight which we can represent as mg and then he is also bound to have normal reaction like that so this is all that is happening with our um what is it so this is where he is sliding to or the direction of movement or the direction of sliding but since he is sliding we might not need to to talk much so these are the forces that we expect to uh to see acting on this layer so let's try to pay attention so that we can solve the, pet, the first part so if we are to resolve all these forces let's start with all the forces that are acting in the y direction so uh, sum of forces in y from this we have got this one that is pointing up so it's positive and then this one that is pointing down which is negative so n minus w these will give us ma but this will equal will be equal to zero why because this guy is not sliding up or down he's sliding horizontally so acceleration due to uh, the vertical axis is zero so that's why n so if we are to simplify this our n now is going to if we take everything to the other side it's going to be equal to the w but we know that w is equal to mg so n is equal to mg that's what we get from the um y-axis let's look at the forces that are acting in the uh, x-axis now so we have got sum of all the forces uh sorry this time around it's 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 x like this okay uh so we have uh fk uh since in this regard he is sliding it means the force that is being applied is zero because this person is is sliding okay so we have got fk is equal to m a like this remember this one is in x and this one is in y so fk is going to be equal to uh ma because this guy né, since he is sliding he is only being affected by the frictional force he's not applying any force okay right so if we are to to simplify this uh we know for a fact that uh frictional force which we can call fk is given by mu k times n like this but we know the value of n okay we know the value of n which is mg so it can be equal to mu k m g like this this is the value of the frictional force okay yeah so i guess we have all these things we can be able to, to find the value of fk right away 
So we can actually be able to find part A by substituting mu k is given there as 0 0.49 from the question multiplied by m is also given g is 1 81 kg sorry and then g we know the value of g that's 9.8 so if we punch this on our calculator uh, see we we'll get we are getting 389 so 389 newton that's this is the frictional force that uh, the guy is subjected to now let's go to the part b part b now is saying if the player comes to rest if the player comes to rest after 1.6 seconds what was his initial velocity right so the information that we have here if we are to, to, to take a good look at it, the information that we have is asking us to say uh, if this uh, player is to come to rest at 1.6, what was his initial velocity? So let's take a look at the information that we have. The information that we have, we have got uh, MA there, here, this. We have got MA. Of which this is the A that we might use to get the velocity, here. So we might use this A to get the velocity. Why are we choosing that? It's because we know the value of FK. So since we know the value of FK now and we know the value of M, we can be able to find A. So let's do that. Uh, since our FK is equal to 389, and the same FK is also equal to MA here, so we can equate this to MAX like that. Therefore, since we want the value of A, we can divide both sides by M. So our A now is going to be equal to 389 divided by m is 81 so if we do that what are we going to get we're going to get what so here we have got 389 uh divided by 81 sorry let me quickly try to do that Three, eight, nine. Okay, so we have got 4.8. So our acceleration is going to be equal to 4.8 meters per second squared. So now that we have got the acceleration there, we can use it now to find uh, the initial velocity. So let's see, we are given T is equal to 1.6 seconds. We know that A is equal to 4.8. What else? We are told that um, if the player comes to rest after 1.6, so what it means is that our VF or the V, the final velocity, since he is coming to rest, is going to be zero. The question wants us to find V naught, which can be U. That's what we are looking for. So the player is going to come to rest, which means VF is going to be zero at that particular time. So we need now the equation of, of motion to be able to, to get this. So the equation of the motion that we can use is V is equal to U plus AT. Please note that this U can also be equal to V naught. So since they told us that V final velocity is zero, we can put a zero here. We are looking for U plus. But since he is coming to rest, it means he is going to decelerate. Is that right? Remember, he, when he puts initial velocity, he's going to accelerate. But as he approaches 
uh, as he comes to rest, he is going to decelerate. Therefore, our acceleration at that particular time is going to be negative. So here, the value of our acceleration is going to be negative 4.8. Uh, the value of t is, where is our t? 1.6, like this. So if we take uh, this to the other side, so 4.8 multiplied by 1.6 is going to be positive since we have a negative sign here. It's going to be equal to our u, which is the value of the initial velocity that we are looking for. Okay? Hopefully, we are still together. So if you punch that from your calculator, your u, which, which you can write as v0, is going to be equal to 7.7 meters per second. So this is going to be your initial velocity. Okay. So please let me know if you understand. And then if you don't get it, please write so that I can try and assist you. So this is what we have, ladies and gentlemen. Bye.